This is one of their blueprints, published in 2000 by the extreme right-wing group Project for a New American Century. The US military will fight multiple simultaneous wars as the cavalry on the New American frontier. The principal author is William Crystal. The problem with America is not that we go around marauding around the world imposing ourselves. Mm. The problem with America in the last 10, 15 years since the end of the Cold War, really in the last 60 years, is that we've been too slow to get involved mm. in mm. conflicts. Outside America, people have worried about uh, the United States uh, conducting an unprovoked attack on a country, a sovereign country. Whether are they? Or not, whether, are they? Yes, yes, they are. Really? They're yeah. worried we're going to attack Britain, France, no, Germany, no, no, any, no. any democracy? No, no, because... Any no. decent regime? No, the, well, no, the United States doesn't at usual... No, I said strong countries. Well, I'm asking decent countries. I don't know Are what people you really call, worried I, the U.S. is going to go, I, I, a decent law-abiding country, and the U.S. I, is going to come in and say, we don't like the look of you, we're going to depose you? Is that something the U.S. has done quite often? How uh, many countries has the U.S. attacked in uh, the last been, 15 years? Been, uh, well, since World War II, there have been 72 interventions by the United States. Oh, is that right? Yes. That's ludicrous. Well, it's not ludicrous, it's true. These are some of the countries where the United States, directly and indirectly, has overthrown governments manipulated elections and attacked popular movements since 1945. Bush's war on terror is just another brand name replacing the Red Menace as justification for a systematic aggression. This is well documented, yet it remains a kind of secret history, seldom reported in the West as a war of terror. <laughs> 